word there at work, so I need to hear you this morning. Just say amen, amen. or just say ouch, or ball your toes up, or wave your hand, or something, because the word's going to find you somewhere, because it'll find me. Y'all might yeah. seem to keep my shoe off over there. Yeah, it get going too good for me if I throw my shoe off, you know. But let me tell you something. It's not about a show. It's not about a fashion. It's about Jesus Christ. Right. You yeah. own it. Not about me. It's Amen. about him. Yes. So, like I said, if you want to see a change, you need to have the courage to change. That's right. Mm. Because the spirit man changed, but the outward person didn't change. Mm -hmm. Y'all still look the same after you see Jesus, right? Uh -huh. So we all look the same. So we might have aged a little bit. I might have turned, turned white a little bit. I walked back and got a little slow, some of us, but you know, praise be to God. God gave me this supernatural energy, y'all. He just gives me that energy where I can just move, move. Uh -huh. You know, so I just praise God for that. He's yeah. the head allow me, even though my rooftop is a little white now. But to God be the glory. Hey, can you my contract? Oh, glory. Yeah. Hallelujah. He yeah. said, so if you want to change, you, you have to have the courage to change. Mm -hmm. But it, it has to occur. You have to take a wise, bold step of courage in a new direction. You can't keep going in the same way that you were going in. If you want things to change in your life, your family, your church, whatever, your job, if you want things to change, you can't keep doing the same thing. Right. Because if you do, you're going to be in the same place you were in last year. Last year. So let me tell you, I'm going to give y'all an example. The Lord has spoke to me about coming out from my job. He said, and my husband said, the Lord told me, so you can come out early. You can retire early if you want to. I said, oh, okay, oh, you know. You know, I'm like, you know, I like, I like my money. I like to work, you know. <laughs> you know, when you go out on Social Security, you don't get what you, you can work some overtime and make more, right? So I said, I don't know. I don't know. So, so I wanted to keep on doing the same thing. Yeah. So almost two months, it'll be a year when I quite, my plan, my plan was to come out in April of last year. But the Lord so fit when I came out June the 3rd last year. Mm -hmm. So it'd be soon that I'd be out of here. So I had to do a different thing. And as soon as I made the decision to follow God, to come out before a man said come out, I came out when the Lord said came out. And uh -huh. I came out, God had a door already open for me. He had a door already open. So you got to take that step. Make that courageous change, that step, that wise step. You got to move. You got to do something different. So when I moved and got out of self, he had a door open for me. The door was open. And I'm doing better than I was doing when I was working. Amen. So, God so let me tell you something. And that this is real. I didn't make this up. So I'm just telling you, if you got a situation that you won't change, do something different. Yes. For instance, if you don't if you don't pray and read your Bible every day, uh -huh. come on now. Yes. Yes. You need to make that change uh -huh. and decide to do it. Because let me tell you something. If you get up early in the morning when everything's quiet and ain't nothing going on before your day gets started, uh -huh. and pray and sit there and talk to the Lord, tell the Lord to tell, ask him, what do you want me to do today? Yes. So Lord, look, so what are we gonna do today, Lord? And let me tell you something. <laughs> He'll tell you. He will tell you if you're listening. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you got to get quiet before the Lord and listen to him so he can tell you how to make that courageous change. Because let me tell you something. You can make it in the world, but that might not be the right change that God wants you to make. So if you sit down and ask God, God will tell you how to make that change. Mm -hmm. We had, at my church where we had, for years our title was, uh, uh, can you handle the supernatural shift? Mm. So now we're shifting. We done shift. <laughs> so now we're getting ready to go into a different level. Uh -huh. So we're doing something different. different. That's right. right. So That's you got to be courageous. Even in a change, when you get ready to change, nobody likes change. Nobody likes change. Mm -hmm. People don't like getting older. Mm -hmm. People don't like changing neighborhoods. They don't like changing school. They don't like changing jobs. Some people don't like changing the clothes. Just tell the truth. <laughs> Just tell I'm going to be honest with you. Some people, you see them and you think, like, wow, when are they going to ever change them clothes? Some people like the same fashion, the same color. They wear it every day. Mm -hmm. Come on now. It may be That's clean, true. but they wear the same thing every day. Yeah. And you're like, wow, what in the world? 
But you know, I like change. Mm -hmm. See, because like, y'all, if you remember last Sunday, some of my habits different. So I like change. Mm -hmm. I like change. I'm looking around. Some of y'all like change. Mm -hmm. Some of y'all don't look the same. We all. If I was to see y'all too much from now, none of us would look the same. You know why? Because we might have lost some weight, gained some weight. Mm -hmm. mm. Tag, some things might have happened in your life. You might have came in, that kid it will go shut that that kid can't shake it. Because yeah. you know you changed already this morning. Uh -huh. You changed yeah. already. Your faces, your uh, disposition's already changed. I'm looking at y'all this morning already. Your face has changed. Y'all got a glow about you right now. Yeah. Come on, go check it. Yeah. You came in this morning. Yeah. Girl, you were kind of slow. Yeah. When you came in, and you were kind of sad. You know, yeah. you were coming in kind of slow. You know, but when you come into the house of the Lord, you need to come in. So pick up the stick. Pick up the stick. Yeah. Come on in. Because, like, wow, we're going in to get fed. Because, like, it's like when you're going out to the restaurant and yeah. you're going to get your food, yeah. you're going to get some food. You're happy, right? Yeah. Woo, I'm making my mind up. Let me get the menu. Let me get the menu. See what I want. Hey, here go the menu we need right here. Right here. We got to open up and say, Lord, what's going to tell me today? Who are we going to do today? Who are we going to eat today? Open it up. Open the Bible up and ask him, just like you asked when you go into the restaurant to get your meal. Come in. The bread. The bread. We need the bread in order to walk every day. Every day to make it every day. Let me tell you something. We were getting ready, the weekend, getting ready to go and everything. I went yesterday morning. I do pray at my church. It was second or fourth service. So when I left home, my husband was down. He cooked, we cooked, I cooked his breakfast and went on. He was fine. The aunt called me, asked about somebody that I saw going on in the driveway. So she said, I called you, okay. The shirt is to tell you, we were getting ready to come. Now, let me tell you, just because I'm up here with a call on, that doesn't mean we don't get hit. Uh -huh. We got hit. He's not with me. Normally, he'd be sitting up there on that road with me. He's sick. Mm -hmm. The enemy attacked him. Uh -huh. He wanted to come, but he couldn't. So let me tell you something. Just because, as I started out in the beginning, just because we have setbacks and because we have a storm, that don't mean we got to stop. That's we got right. to keep pressing on. Amen. Because we're going to make that courageous change. Yes. We're going to make that change. We're going to make that change to the Lord, uh -huh. not to what the world is doing. Because if we focus on what's going on in the world right now, mm -hmm. wow, it'll be like this. Uh -huh. Maybe worse than this. Yeah, so true. Because you know what? If it takes more energy to frown, yes, to be sad, yes, it than it does to be happy. Because yes. laughter is just like a medicine. The word of God. I didn't say it. The word of God said it. Uh -huh. It's like a medicine. We need to laugh more. Yes, be right. happy. Have the joy of the Lord. Yes. The joy of the Lord is our strength. Yes. So we need to have some joy. No matter what's going on in our lives, God is over all of it. He's over all of it. He's over all of it. Because they say nothing is impossible with God. Nothing. Nothing is impossible with God. Did I'm just telling you. So what an, an example I have here is in Numbers uh, 13 and 14. Joshua and Caleb had courage. Uh -huh. They demonstrated that when others doubted God, they remained encouraged in the Lord. Mm. The Lord's will results God's blessings and the demise of those who doubted God. Even when people doubt you uh -huh. at times. People will doubt you. Oh, when you go out and say, I'm going to do this, do that. Oh, you can't do that. Mm. You can't do that. I'm sure they told Pastor Hedden. Oh, you going to be a preacher? You going to be a pastor? You going to mm. pastor the church? Ha, ha. They probably laughed at him. Well, let me tell you something. She had to have the courage to make that change. Mm -hmm. To come on anyway and to stand. Yeah. And then they probably still laughing. Let me tell you something. The enemy will come in your ear and you, look, and you don't see nobody. Uh -huh. But that's his job, to send his imps, to put mm -hmm. things in your ear, to laugh at you. They probably laugh and say, oh, you're going over there to that church. Ain't that many people over there, that little bitty church. Why y'all going over there? Uh -huh. But let me tell you something. You got to turn around and tell Satan, get behind me, Satan. In the name of Jesus. Get your feet. Because you know what? You got to keep your eyes focused on God. Yes. Because this is a faith walk. This is not a I see walk. It's just a faith walk. Yes. We got to walk by faith and not by sight. Because we got to continue on and do what yes. God said. Do. Stand in faith, not in fear. Yes. It takes courage to change. It takes courage to change. It does. Because let me tell you something. Anything that you do in life, it takes courage mm -hmm. to change. I was listening to a minister this morning before I came, and he was talking about faith. And some people say, well, I ain't got no faith. Have you ever flown an airplane? 
Have you all ever been on an airplane? Mm -hmm. Okay. Did you have faith to get on that? Did you know that that airplane was going to fly up in the air and going to take you to your different de destination? Did you, you just trusted it, right? Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Were you trusting the airplane or were you trusting God? God. Trusting God. You had God. You had faith. You got on that airplane and it flew. Even to the point you get in your car. You got to have faith. Because you don't know whether that car is going to be able to bring you to your different destination. Amen. Even to the chair you sit in. Uh -huh. You don't know if it's going to hold you up. You got faith. Well, I'm going to sit down. I'm going to sit in the chair because I know it's going to hold me. You, yes, do you really know it's going to hold you up? Uh -huh. Now that you ain't got to be big, skinny, whatever. You sit in the chair, you got to have faith to sit in. That's right. Yeah. You got faith that you right. got up this morning, you came here and you're looking for a word from the Lord. Yes. And the Lord is telling you, if you only open up your spirit and hear what the Lord is saying yes. today. So hallelujah, hallelujah. Yes, God. He says, you know, it takes courage to change. But with God, we can do all things through Christ who strengthens us. Mm -hmm. If we rely on upon the supernatural power of God to strengthen and motivate us, to give us courage, because worldly courage relies on human flesh abilities. And one of the one of the things that give people courage, they look at the flesh, lust of the eye, lust of pride, mm -hmm. and they they look at those things. And and do you have the courage to change? When you accept Jesus, when you accept Jesus Christ as your savior, savior, it says like I read earlier. It's it's it only takes us a few minutes to accept. Took us a few minutes to accept Jesus Christ as our savior, right? You believe it, right? Mm -hmm. You had the courage to, to believe that God saved you, right? Yes. Yes. Okay. So anything else that you need in life, because when we become uh, born again believers, mm -hmm. anything that we need, God said He has already supplied our needs. According to his wish, the glory by Christ Jesus. Whether it's financial, whether it's physical, whether it's mental, whatever it may be. If you trust God, God is all he's already done it for you. Uh -huh. yes. As he told is Abraham, is anything too hard for God? Yes. Ain't yes. nothing too hard for God. Yes. We have got to get our focus on God and trust God. No, I know the gas prices is going up and down. They're going down right now, y'all. They say inflation is going down. Let me tell y'all something. I really don't believe. It's too much of inflation. You see people buying houses, building right. houses, building buildings. Every road you can turn on, somebody's building something almost. Uh -huh. They're building, people buying cars, they're buying houses, they're creating new jobs. Mm -hmm. It's just so much going on. But you know what? This is a, that's a natural. We're looking at it in the natural. Mm -hmm. We need to look at it in the spiritual. Ask God to show show it to you in the spiritual. Amen. He will show it to you. Mm. Yeah, can yes, yes, I don't know if you all, any of y'all believe in angels. Mm. Uh -huh. Yes, Lord. I believe we got one here this morning. Yes, man. We got an angel in here this morning. Yes. Because, you know, I came in and I sat down right there and I was listening. I was watching everybody come in. Mm -hmm. And the reason I know it's one in here because I can ask all of y'all in here. Any of you, you feel the spirit? Yes. Mm -hmm. the spirit. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. He's here. And then you say, well, that's the Holy Ghost. There's an angel in here, too. Uh -huh. He's in the back. He's going to He came in to sit with us today. Oh, glory. Oh, 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 he came in to sit with us today. God sent him in to sit with us. Because he thought we were special. Yes. Somebody might have never told you that you were special. You are special. You are uh -huh. special in God. That's why you're going to have the courage to change, to do something different. Because when the next time I come, you all will be looking different. Yes. Y'all will be looking different. And whatever you're praying and asking God for, just continue. Now's the time to say, thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, thank you every day. Even when you get up, even when you got to go back, my, my mother, to go back to see, I didn't quite uh, get who you went to see, but when you go back, just thank God. Just yes. continue to thank God for the healing. And thank God that you're going to see the healing is manifesting. We yes, got to start thanking Him because He's already done it. So it's time for us to thank Him. Yes. Thank Him. Thank we got to thank the Lord. Lord, and we thank, thank God, God for helping us you, to make that change. Thank you, God. It says you might you might have friends that you've been holding on all this time, uh -huh. and you think they're your best friend. Mm -hmm. It's time to make a change. Yes. It's time to make a change. Sometimes we have to cut people off. 
in order to make that change. Yeah. Because they're not for you. All they want to do is pull you back. That's they right. want to discourage you. They want to tell you you can't do this, you can't do that. Mm -hmm. I wouldn't do this if I was you, but you ain't me. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So my eyes is focused on God, and I'm going to make that change when God tell me to make the change. When he's telling me to make the change, it's time to move. Amen. It's time to move. Yes. So you need to move when God say move. Praise God. Praise God. Hallelujah. 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 Thank you, Jesus. So I really believe that God is speaking to some of you in here today. Uh -huh. So you, you need to make that change. Yes. So I'm, I'm getting ready to come, to come, getting ready to close. So as I said earlier, if you want to make that change, you have to see God. Yes. Because everything is changing right now. Uh -huh. Everything is changed. Things have changed. Let me tell you something. Last time I came here, to speak, even the sanctuary has changed. Uh -huh. It's Hallelujah. different. Everything changes, just like the world is changing right before our eyes. Yes. You know, we have changed. We used to have rotary dial phones. Now we got cell phones. We can talk to somebody at any time. Mm -hmm. We can send texts. We can Facebook. We can Instagram. Everything is changing. You know, we didn't have computers. We got computers. Now yes. we can do computers. And guess what? Your computer is your phone. Uh -huh. On your phone. Yes. So everything is changing. Amen. It's changing. Mm -hmm. But you know what? It's nothing new under the sun. Because God knew all of this was going to happen. Yes. Before it happened. Before it happened. So he knows everything about you too. Yes. Everything. He knows mm -hmm. every hair on your head. Even if it done fell off, he still knows. Yes. How many you had on that? Yes. He still knows. He knows everything about you. Every blood vessel. Because he had, he put it there. Uh -huh. You know, yeah. I wonder sometimes, why? Well, you know, some people have hair in the ear. God knows where you need some hair in your ears. Yes, so that yes. means some thing got hair in your nose. He put, he, God, he, he made, he spoke us into existence. Yes. He knew everything we needed. Yes. He knew it yes. before time. He, he put us together. He put us in the families that he wanted us to be in. Mm -hmm. So he, some of us may change. One change, get out of it. But God put you there. Uh -huh. So don't be trying to run from what God put you in. Do what he put. Do what he, what he has put you to. Uh huh. Amen. To say God is on your side. Yes, yes. Uh, if God is on your side, who can be against you? Right. Who can be against glory, you? Glory. Man can try to rise up against you, but God on your side. You got a your armor. You already got your armor on. Yes. Ephesians six. We don't put on our armor. We put on our armor this morning. I pray for the righteousness. Our Lord is the truth. I feel for the preparation of God for peace. We have the shield of faith. Uh -huh. The shield of faith. And we have the sword of the spirit, which is the word of God. The yeah. word of God. So we may be able to stand against the wives of the devil. And we have on our helmet of salvation because yes. we know we are saved. Yes. We know we are saved because we accepted Jesus Christ as our Savior. Yes. We know that. We know that by faith. That's why this is a faith walk. Yes, it is. It, it also, I was listening this morning as well. The man said, the speaker said this morning, we got faith. But who do you have faith in? Do you have faith in man? Or do you have faith in God? Mm -hmm. Because God is the one that's going to do the work, not man. Uh -huh. And like I said, we got to change. You can't stay the same. Uh -huh. Because there's a season for everything. Yes, Ecclesiastes yes. tells us that. We have a season for everything. Just like now. <laughs> you can't, right now, the word says, see, he spoke of this, that we wouldn't know the seasons that we're in. Okay. In February, we got 80 degree weather in February. Uh -huh. My Lord. Mm -hmm. So we got to get ready, y'all. We got to be ready. Not get ready, we got to be ready. Mm -hmm. Because a change is coming. A change is coming. And we got to be ready. So when he come, when that next move that's coming right now, the next move that's coming, y'all, I said, I'm excited. I want to be ready. Mm -hmm. My mama used to say, get your bucket ready. Go to church with your bucket. Go get your blessing. Mm -hmm. But y'all, but you know what? Buckets ain't big enough no more. Because we, we need to go bigger. Bigger. As my, as my son all told us. Bigger. God is a big God. He's a big God. We need a bigger bucket. I don't know what that y'all will get. Just throw your arms out big. As long wide as you can get it, I guess. To get it. Because a change is coming. So as I conclude my message this morning, I'll ask you to stand. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah.
At this time, I just want to thank God for allowing me to be here today. Yes. And uh, I want to ask if there's any of you all, anybody in here that's not saved, I believe everybody's saved in here this morning. Amen. 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 Can you just give it up a hand clap of praise?